they do, yet it is nonsense. And unfortunately, many of us who are not in positions of influence, our younger generation particularly, think that this does not matter. This matters. If you look at the history of revolutions, it was always the young people. As early as 1980, uh, 1908 in Turkey, it is the young people who came up to rise up against the dictatorial regime. We remember even during the Bolshevik revolution, it was the young people. We remember during the civil rights movement led by Martin Luther King Jr. and Ralph Abernathy, among others, it was young people. In 1968 in France, when there was a problem, initially in 1958 or 1968, it was young people. We remember in Tiananmen Square, it was young people. We remember in Korea in 1980, it was the young people. In South Africa, in the Sharpeville Massacre in 1969, it was the young people. In Soweto in 1976, it was the young people. In the Arab world, it's the young people. But our young people in Africa today are imprisoned by Arsenal and Manchester United and Barcelona and Real Madrid and our young girls are imprisoned by cheap and South American soap operas and Beyonce Knowles. How can that be? How can a continent be so accursed that our young people have no sense of her history, no sense of our presence, no sense of our future? No wonder the Chinese are conquering us by the day. And we are wondering. John F. Kennedy said in 1960, a society whose young men and women are in a constant state of slumber will never realize our potential. Our young people must wake up. It is only the day that they wake up that they will be able to send a clear message to those in positions of leadership that you cannot continue to misgovern us. I look forward to those days.